Hey, good afternoon um, from the Heavy Metal Hideaway. It is January 7th, um, 2023. I guess I wanted to catch you all up on what's going on with me, uh, what's going on with our construction in the background that you don't see here. Over here we've got a complete new drain field for our septic system. We're rebuilding the house. Adding a master bedroom, master bath, uh, changing a bedroom to an office, and then in the what was a carport is now um, another bedroom. Doing a whole lot of construction here. We're kind of making room for the whole family and uh, not going to be so squeezed into a smaller house. So that's really a lot of good news going on here. All this is going on at the same time that uh, we have my ongoing um, battle with prostate cancer and uh, I'm feeling it more and more you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you and say that you know everything that I know how to do with diet and exercise is working perfectly and I'm able to combat, combat the disease um, because I am I am noting some changes and um, other people will see the changes as well and what's actually happened to kind of catch you up if you haven't been watching is that um, every three months I take an Elegard shot um, subcutaneously I have an Elegard shot and um, and then every day I'm taking an oral chemo called Erlita which is apalutamide and what that does is uh, the combination of the two drives down my testosterone to near zero, which as you can imagine is not a good thing. Not a good thing for a, uh, a bodybuilder, not a good thing for someone who's focused on their health and, and their looks and um, their performance. Um, not to mention any, anybody, you know, any, anyone or no one I should say wants their testosterone down to zero because that kind of translates to uh, low energy, uh, little or no muscle growth, um, muscle deterioration, in fact, um, uh, porous bones, so forth and so on and so forth. Um, so a lot of bad things happen to us when we, when we zero out our testosterone. But as the testosterone zeroes out, it also brings down the PSA. You bring down the PSA to near zero as well. And um, all this contributes, hopefully, to the prostate cancer uh, being put to bed or at least making it dormant. Um, so this week coming up, uh, Thursday, I have an appointment with my medical oncologist um, and we're going to have a discussion about where we are, about what the latest CAT scan has discovered or not. Um, there are a few points of uh, lesions, uh, metastases that have gone up into my my spine um, that they've noted, but they're all saying that the radiation that I just completed uh, probably will not have to um, be restarted at any time uh, because the medication I'm taking should get up and, and grab these lesions and um, get rid of them. So let's hope that's the case. Nutritionally, I'm doing you know everything that uh, I can wrap my head around, everything that I can do. Um, so, um, just got back from, uh, the gym today and either went to any time fitness today and did a little bit of chest pressing, did a little bit of lunging, um, some Bulgarians did about 20 minutes of, uh, cardio trying to keep myself in some semblance of shape. But what I guess I've noticed, I guess I'll put it to you this way. I'm used to working out like a 35 year old, like I can do anything I can I can attempt to lift anything without any uh, repercussions, without injury, and I've noticed that um, I have to start training myself now as if I were training a client who is 50 and 55. And does that bother me? Of course it bothers me. Um, but I understand it. It's not something that's going to, going to depress me because um, I have a level of understanding as to why that's going on. Um, and also because I do feel that there's light at the end of the tunnel. This is not the end of Kenyon. This is just a bump in the road. Um, I'm going to approach this as 
uh, just doing the things I need to do to get through this particular obstacle. And once I'm beyond the obstacle, the old Kenyan is going to come back and hopefully I'll put a little bit more weight on and get some muscle back as I am permitted to um, get my testosterone back up into a normal range. But all this is going to be done through uh, doctor's guidance and um, I guess I don't like, I don't like feeling normal. Um, and I think a lot of men today are used to feeling like this. They're used to feeling uh, very normal and a little bit weak and so forth. But this is not going to be uh, my permanent state, I promise you. So um, that's the update. We've got a lot going on. Um, my, one of my biggest things here in the heavy metal hideaway is with all this construction going on um, is there's a certain amount of dust that makes it through my my coverings here and my screens so I have a leaf blower here with uh, extension cord and I am blowing the dust back out of here and back out into the backyard where it belongs and hopefully um, this will all be um, put to bed pretty soon. I think they're going to be pouring a little bit more concrete on Monday. Trusses come in Monday or Tuesday and then the, um, the roof starts going on this week which is going to be a uh, welcome site. I'm going to take some pictures as this stuff progresses, keep you all informed and uh, in the meantime as well I'm you know still training clients. Still could use a couple more clients but that's okay. Um, Everything is following a pretty good progression here. Um, very satisfied with the way things are going and um, very happy with Statinius construction of Winter Haven. Uh, he's just doing a fantastic job as I expected. And um, I will touch base as things progress a little bit more. I'll get back in touch with you and reach back out and let you know how things are going. If anybody has any questions, anybody's going through uh, any issues which might lead them to believe that they have a prostate issue, uh, if you have trouble peeing, if there's things going on down there that, um, that you're just not expecting at your age, like you're just wondering what the hell is happening here, and you need to reach out to me. You can send me a private message if you don't want it to be public, that's fine. But, um, I'm going to give you my honest, absolute honest answer, uh, maybe what you should be doing or shouldn't. Um, and you need to understand that um, we need to all grasp this for the long haul. We're, we're in this business so that we can prolong our lives and prolong our active lives, our happy lives, and not just have um, a few short years of glory. And I fully intend to make it to 90 or 100 years old, and I will do it uh, any which way I can. I'm going to make sure I'm around. I've got a family to raise, uh, a beautiful wife to be with, and uh, things to do. All right? So um, please throw a comment down there if you have one. Please contact me if you feel you need to ask some questions, some private questions, and I will talk to you soon. Happy New Year to everybody, and... Um, have a great weekend. Bye now.